How are you? In this video, I'm going to show you the hotkey, hotkeys or commands for to fly the this helicopter, the H, the S H3. Let me show you here. Um, I'll be showing you the panels, the different ways to fly it. I hope it don't take too long to show you. I am wearing the hood now. As you can see here, uh, these are the three different ways to fly it. Dynamic, extreme, and advanced. This is for owner to change, uh, the to set the helicopter public or group etc. Uh, this command is to recu recovering the helicopter. Uh, for example, if if uh, get gets a stuck a stuck uh, crossing seam, etc. You can type RC and it will reset the scripts. The H is to hover the helicopter. The taxi, well, you know, same for taxi, on deck or where you are, and PV is to parking brake. These are the different ways you can use the, the, the helicopter has different uh, camera modes, so uh, you can use them or not use them as you feel comfortable. So uh, landing cam, side cam, overhead cam. I'm going to be sharing to you. This video is for uh, gradu graduated uh, new people, new pilots coming to our group. Everyone is welcome to come here. So I'm going to give a note car and I'm going to add the hest to hover to hover the helicopter, and I'm going to share to you a text to show in the hood so you can memorize the commands or better if you want to buy the helicopter I, I am adding a landmark where you can buy this uh, helicopter for now I'm going to just detach because uh, I'm not going to use it I, have, I, I know the commands so the first thing I'm going to do is going to show you the panels. The helicopter has uh, this panel on the floor, and uh, if you click uh, here, you you'll see this m menu to show the hover text on on in front of you, the altitude, the speed, etc. So what else you can find here? So here is um, let me change the wind light uh, to because here is night now. I'm going to change today so you can see better the panel. So. I told you about here and I'm going to show you this. This is for winch or harness to deploy it. I, I'll show you when, I, when I'm flying the helicopter. And here is for gears. You can lower the gears or close the gears. When you take off, click here and close the gears or when you are going to land just click here again and it's going to uh, deploy the gears down so this is the uh, lower the floor panel so now i'm going to show you this other panel between the windows the upper panel so if you click here we have four levers. So if I click here, it's going to show me the, this window. Lights off, anti-collision, disengage, 
strokes power to 50 lights on engage if I engage here lowering the sound so you can hear me better what I did is just I'm testing the engine and the rotary parts it's just a test it's not turning on the helicopter so you can check if the helicopter is good to fly it and it's engaged okay here let me show you what it's going to say uh, okay let me move this I'm going to close the inventory here is saying duster uh, prop watch on prop watch off what this means uh, as you know when you are about to land on ground uh, the helicopter or when you turn engines on there are there is dust around because the the rotary parts are making the dust around the helicopter so you can turn on or to turn off this option it's good when you are um, doing some rescue and you are going to drop the raft it's good to turn off the, the dust because if you drop the raft with the dust on it's going to the the wind is going to send the raft away so you can you can just um, like now is off or on I'm going to leave it on so clicking here uh, what else we have here I think it's it if, if you click here is not going to show you anything but um, I'm going to click again here and turning lights on choosing that option and as you can see now the lights are on you can uh, open or close this door let's take a look inside this is the raft the if you have uh, people inside the helicopter or you are about to go for a rescue and you have an a copilot or other people sitting behind here this person can you can fly be flying the helicopter and the other people and the other person uh, can be using the winch control if you click here it's going to show you this menu uh, it's it's the the distance the harness is going to be deployed 7 meters 11 20 uh, I mean 16 meters 28 minutes etc uh, you have to know this the water level uh, this level is about uh, it's above ground level 20 meters so if you are going to deploy uh, the the harness for example uh, I, I I'm going to deploy it to 7 meters or 11 meters this means I need to hover the helicopter since the water level is 20 meters and it's going to deploy 11 meters you have to plus that I need to hover the helicopter 31 meters above water so this way the harness is going to stop on water level and the person you are going to rescue can uh, sit on it very easy so have this in mind if uh, the altitude uh, you need to be hovering the helicopter and the and the distance the harness is going to be deployed so if you choose uh, uh, 16 meters and the water level is 20 you need to hover the helicopter 36 meter 
uh, and you can see here in this panel the in your viewer the altitude is showing here the coordinates the coordinates are here and it's the way you can um, be checking the your your altitude so to turn on the helicopter i use uh, w uh, 